guys, welcome back to TTT Wrestling. It's been a while. Has been. Games. Which is not your normal Survivor Series. No, but it no, it really isn't. It's I mean that's a Triple H thing. That's definitely a Triple H thing. Definitely, but we'll get into these matches, which is gonna look like it's gonna be a good card. I have no complaints Absolutely. about it. Absolutely, I don't see a single bad match on the card. I mean, it's it's a short card, but I don't see a single bad match there. Well, considering War Games. <laughs> War Games is all. I mean, War Games. Apart from, honestly, apart from, maybe apart from the Rumble, War Games might be my favorite like gimmick match, just in general. True, true. Well, let's get into the first match. Let's I, do this. I got the first match. We got a women's SmackDown match. Um, Ronda Rousey will defend her title against Shotzi. I feel Shotzi is incredibly underrated by the fans as a wrestler and a performer. Yeah. And I think these two are going to give each other a great match because Ronda has really improved the last couple of months or the last year or whatever you want to say. And Shotzi can carry her for the stuff she can't just as well as Liv can. Uh, but Ronda is going to win. This is a place over the match. Yeah, this definitely. This is like, we, 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 we need one of the big titles defended. Uh, well, we, everyone else is busy. Let's take Ronda. And who do we have to throw against her? Uh, I guess we're down to Shotzi. So have fun with that. I and Ronda is going to win think, it. Yeah, I mean, definitely Ronda's going to win. But I think it's going to be an interesting, good match. Especially, Absolutely if, especially it's going if, to has, be a good match. if she has Shayna on her corner and what? Chocolate yeah. like Raquel or Raquel Rock on her corner and stuff yeah. like that. So I think it's going to be a good match. But like you said, it's just a placement holder and stuff like that. Yeah. But yeah. Well, I don't have more to say about that. Do you? No, no, really. Again, like I said, this, it, both of them are really good at it. Uh, and yeah, like I said, I think Shotzi is severely underrated as a wrestler. So yeah, it's going to be a good match. Done. Move on. All right. Well, let's move on. Then you heard Tim. <laughs> um, we're gonna start with the um, got AJ Styles versus Finn Balor. AJ will have probably OC on his side, and Finn Balor will mm -hmm. do Judgment Day on the side. This one, I don't know because I don't know who they're trying to build up in this situation. <laughs> I don't know either, which is good because it, yeah. it means that I mean, the thing is, Balor sh again should win because Judgment Day needs to be dominant. On the other hand, if they don't want to waste the OC or the Good Brothers or whatever else you want to call them one more time, they really have to start out strong. And this is the first time we see them, you know, be there for, for a pay-per-view thing. So I would, I would put my money on Styles, but it's like 49.51. Um, it could just as easily be be, be Finn Balor. It would make sense for it to be Finn Balor as well, but I think it's going to be Styles. I am like I'm honestly on the fence with this one. I really don't know because like I like I said, it could benefit both. Yeah, both. Like, uh, this this could also Triple H usually don't do that. I mean, even back down in in a NXT, he never really did it. But this is a match I feel like could honestly maybe need like a shenanigans ending rather than a clean pin, like a double, like a double uh, disqualification I mean, or if, something. If they do like the shenanigans, which I'm pretty sure there's gonna be some kind of, I mean, there yeah, are all there's gonna be shenanigans. shenanigans there. But yeah, um, you know, we got all like eight of them out there and stuff like that. But like, I can see them. Finn Balor went in on, like, um, shenanigans or, like, a distraction or, or some yeah. shit like that. I can see uh, that. Uh, again, I, I wouldn't mind if this match, like, got, got a double DQ or something. Yeah. I, I don't think that would be bad and build up the feud. Because it, it kind of feels like now that the two girls yeah, are I, also involved right? I thought I was thinking, in other stuff. That's what I was thinking, too. I was thinking, like, will they just go out, like, a double count out or a double 
yeah. disqualification and have like you know like all of them together fighting each other and and then end it like that. That could be a lot better. But I'm like this 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 I mean, feels like a match. Yeah, go. If that's the case, then AJ Styles would have to like leave. AJ Styles could actually win. Yeah. And they can still have the feud going because mm-hmm. if, if the feud stops, it probably would stop with the Judgment Day. Uh, I would have Judgment Day winning, yeah. yeah. Um, again, um, I, I just feel like I also kind of feel like this is a match that deserves to be main event, and on on a card like this, it's obviously going to be well the ba- the closest thing we get to a low card match. There isn't a low card match on this on uh, on this on this card. I mean. Finn Balor and AJ Styles, for God's sake, but it, it, it kind of, I, I don't know, I just feel like it, it, this match deserves more than I, to be slotted in between two, two War Games matches and what appears to be a very, very good um, US title match. Oh, we'll get to that, but yeah. Yeah, um, but we'll, we'll see. I'll, I'll put my money on Styles, but it, again, it's, it, it might, it, it's a coin flip. For me, it's a coin flip because yeah, I don't I'm know the, where they're I'm going on, with this. I'm on the fence with this one. I don't know which yeah. match is um, going to be, but yeah. I think the match is going to be good because AJ and Finn, again, but they we have seen this match before some years ago, and it was super slow-paced and honestly got a bit boring at times. Um, this is one where they really... We, we talked about that last time during uh, Extreme Rules, that they were really good at keeping up the pace in all of their matches, mm-hmm. and this is one that really, this, I don't even think this one needs to take all that long, but the pace just have to be up from moment one. Yeah, I agree. Oh. But, yeah. That's that. Let's move on. Yeah. We've got the United States Championship. Seth freaking Rollins will defend his title against Bobby Lashley and Austin Theory. This is the only one I kind of have an issue with. And, and I don't, because I think this match is going to be... Incredible. Absolutely incredible. I think this is going to be match of the evening. Um, I, again, AJ and Finn Balor can absolutely steal the show. I mean, it's AJ and Finn Balor again, but I think this is going to be going to be match of the evening. But I don't think Bobby Lashley should have been involved. No offense to Bobby Lashley, but... I, I would have liked to see what Seth and Austin Austin Theory could have done on their own. Um, and I mean Lashley, what has La- yeah I know Lashley lost the title to to Seth, and then he suddenly got involved with with, with you know Brock, even if it was just for the pay per view that never happened uh, a month ago. Um, and just, it, it, I don't know, I just don't feel like Lashley has anything to do in this match. But, hey, well, it's going to be great. Le- the reason why Lashley lost was because of Lesnar. <laughs> yeah, I know, I know. So, obviously, he has something to do with it. <laughs> I know, you, I know, Whether you I like know. it or not, Tim, okay? I, 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 I just feel like it would have been, I would have loved to see Seth versus Austin Theory I mean, there's without the having Lashley involved. That. Because I know there's time for it, but I, get, I don't know. Like I said, yeah, you have to talk about the card we have, not the card, n- not that's, the card we. Not the might card you won, okay, Tim? This ain't the Tim card. Yes, it is. <laughs> no, it's not. I am booking. I am booking now. Um, but yeah, I honestly don't know. I would not be surprised if Theory takes this one. I wouldn't be surprised if Theory takes this one either, because I mean, it seems like Theory's a little bit more aggressive. Yeah, I mean, it was clear, uh, we, we had the discussion last time if they were, like, literally burying him, or, as I thought, uh, you know, giving him the, the lose, like, a bunch of matches, and then get serious about the treatment, and it looks like that's, that's what they're doing. Yeah. Um, so I, I would not be surprised if Theory actually took this one. I would not be surprised if any of them took this one. But I, I mean, it's going to be a I good think, one. I think it should be Theory. And then he should be chased by a face Seth Rollins. That's what I think. Um, it looks, like, it looks like it turned, they're trying to make face um, like Seth Rollins a face. I mean, and the thing is, he is already a face, right? Also, I mean, the audience treats him as a face. The only thing that miss that that we miss is sort I of. I mean, the, he's kind of like the Stone Cold of the of this well, generation. Yeah, he's yeah. just the jerk. 
He's just a <laughs> jerk, right? He's either like you either like him or you hate him. You hate him, you like him, you, yeah. like, to hate, you like to hate him, you like to like him, or whatever. But yeah. also, I can't remember who, who was it we talked about regarding that. Was that actually Bobby Bobby Lashley last time? Where it's like he is the Stone Cold type. It's like he he's a jerk no matter what. But if he's a jerk towards the bad guys, then he's a face. And if he's a jerk towards the good guys, then he's a then he's a heel. Right. And <laughs> either or. Just a jerk. Yeah. Like, also, I hate Seth Rollins. I'm just gonna say that. Thank you very much. <laughs> you hate Seth freaking Rollins. Hair. Oh, hair. His hair. That makes sense. Oh, that makes more sense. I didn't hear that. Sorry. I was like, no. no, I was like, since nice. when? Since his hair. <laughs> since his hair. Fair enough. He looks Fair like enough. he looks like something out of the freaking 1980s. Oh. That is true, <laughs> but I mean, his outfits in general recently uh, the outfits are fine. Have, been, have been weird. Anyway, um, yeah, I, I'm i going to put my money on Austin Theory in this one. I'm going to put my money on the winner. Yeah, there. another good idea. There and it's going to be good no matter what. It's probably going to be best of the evening. Oh, I can't wait. It's going to be great. Also, um, it's yeah. going to be on Saturday, guys, not Sunday. Yes, yes. Uh, it's they one of the big games. ones. I, I think the only thing they do Sundays now are, like, the really big ones. Uh, like, the Rumble and Day 1 of Mania. And freaking um, WrestleMania. Yeah, they exactly. Both days. <laughs> oh, sorry, day, day 2 of Mania, not Day 1 of Mania, of course. Day 2 of Mania. Okay, well, uh, let's move yep. on, shall we? So we got yeah. the uh, women's war games. We have damage control with Raya Ripley and Nikki Cross versus Bianca Belair, Asuka, Alexa Bliss, Mia Chin, and someone to be announced on SmackDown. Yeah, I am glad. Uh, like I said, I think it's a bit weird that Rhea and Mia Yim, or oh, sorry, Minchin, are uh, involved, and she has a name change just like two days ago, guys. I'm, yeah. I'm still getting used to it. Uh, it's Mia Yim. Yeah, it's Mia um, Yim, but it's a color me uh, Um, I'm still... I'm, why are these two involved with this? Should they, don't they, you know, have stuff to do already? Um, yeah, but the only reason why they're involved is because... I'll tell you why. So, Damage Control went up to um, Mia Chen and said, Hey, you want to be on our team? And then they're like... He's like, No, nah, I don't want to be on your team, or whatever. And then ends up going on... Bianca Belair's team. And then uh, so Rhea Ripley was like, oh, well, she's on their team. I'm going to be on y'all's team. And that's all they got on the team. No, no, I get it. And again, I, I don't really have a problem with it. I'm honestly just a bit confused about I, I, I'm it. Not I'm not going to lie. I'm not confused. Um, it's nothing confusing. She don't like her. <laughs> they don't like each other. Okay. So they're always going to no, fight each fair, other. Fair, fair enough. I just thought maybe it's, they were. I don't know if that could have been out loud, before. Tim, it's board games. It ain't like, let's try to make six games. <laughs> they should have that as a match. <laughs> try to make six games, uh, you know, on day one, which doesn't exist anymore. Um. Anyway, um, I keep saying I mean, it. Okay. Go ahead. Go ahead. You say your thing because I have. I told you I had a problem with this. Back. Yes, you have a problem with this. But you, go, me, no. you <laughs> go ahead. You go ahead and do your thing. And you say what All you right, say. I'm just going to do the prediction and say if they want damage control to be a thing, they goddamn have to win this one because they've lost everything else so far. Right. Um, so I, I put my money on, on Bailey's team, but who knows? Okay, so I put my money on Bailey's team too. I have a problem with this match because it's already been a fact that they already lost so many times to Bianca Belair. Why do we have this match? This match yeah. could have been used to be Women's SmackDown versus Raw SmackDown. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean <laughs> no, I know exactly what you mean. Listen, that, that, that rant right there, that very short rant, you have heard that before because you have heard that from me Whenever I feel like a few drags out too much with once with it being incredibly one sided, yes, so this is not the first time we've seen this. Yes, I know Dakota Kai and Io Sky has won the 
women's tag team matches and then lost them and then won them and then lost them and then won them and then I, I don't even know what they are right now to be honest. I think, I think, I think they I, have them. They have them, um, I believe they have them. But yeah, this is like we we have seen this match since well since Summers? basically the first roar after SummerSlam. Yeah, since and Summer, uh, Bianca has won every time. Again, okay. why is this still a thing? Yeah, all right. It's just like this is ridiculous. It's like the only time Bianca Belair ever loses to like Bailey yeah. is when it's like Bailey's with damage control, and it's like okay, we already know where this is going. <laughs> and it, it it's hardly ever Bianca getting pinned anyway. Then it's Alexa, Alexa Bliss, or Asuka, or something. Right. Again, it, it just feels like if they really want to do something with it and not just end it now, it has to be damage control. But if they end it now, damage control doesn't matter anymore because yeah. they basically came back and got obliterated uh, which is in my opinion a bad way of using a team that involves those people especially Bailey well, that's, was, what I'm that's what I'm thinking I'm thinking like they're gonna yeah. have to win right? Like, win. Bailey was probably more over than anyone else before she got injured and we don't know like, who they're gonna choose on. on Smackdown no, no. I mean I'm thinking uh, it's we, gonna be Dana Brooke that's what I'm thinking. Uh, you say it's Dana Brooks. I say or, that's very possible. Every every rumor says it's going to be either Dana or Chelsea Green, and I why don't would know. Why would it be we'll Chelsea Green? <laughs> I don't know, Toy. I'm just saying that's what like, the rumor. Why? 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 What? No. Pro- no. Probably why? because they. Probably this, because Triple H was very fond of, of Chelsea I Green. I don't give and a this shit. Would be a good way. <laughs> this would be a good shut up and let me talk for a change. <laughs> Stupid! You never let me. You never let me talk. Because you sound stupid. I'm trying to save you for yourself. Okay. I don't know. I don't know for like, sure. It doesn't but make it, any it's, sense. It's very... I'm sorry. Like every time you, every time you mention it, I'm just like my brain. Like it just goes out. Like what? Because Triple H, because Triple H really loved Chelsea Green during the I little mean, time he had her in NXT. And I think this could be a good way I for mean, him to reintroduce her to the main roster. That's, that's why. I mean, there's other ways to introduce Chelsea to the main roster besides yes, put her but in the wrong. I think he might and... want to do this. But that's he might, why. I, he might just put her on Monday Night Raw and go against freaking Bianca Belair. He might. But he why might, would he put he her? Put her in, in why would he put? Why would he put her in the War Games? It don't make no sense. Because I don't. I, I, I don't care. It's a match. I don't give a crap. Look. If I was in charge of war games and I'm like, oh, I like <laughs> Becky Blitch more, but she has nothing to do with this, I'm not gonna put her in there because, oh, hey, she's my favorite. No. Here, Chelsea Green, you have nothing to do with these war games, but I'm gonna put you in anyway. Here you go. What does Dana Brooke have to do with anything? She has I mean, she can put Candace months. Lorraine in before Chelsea Green. <laughs> <laughs> As you might hear, this is not the first time we've had this discussion. Oh no, we've and, had this discussion um, very clearly. Like you asked the, the other night, the other day, we had a discussion. I'm like, Tim, you sound ridiculous right now. I'm like, no, why would I do that? Why? And this is, that's like a Vince McMahon move right there. I can see him doing that. I'm like, what? What's this? Yeah, okay. <laughs> no. Anyway, to get back to your point before we move on. I do agree with you that this was that this was unnecessary, especially since the feud has been so one-sided in the general scheme of things. And since we're completely missing a traditional Survivor Series match, yes, I would have preferred like a, a Raw versus SmackDown women's match as well, more than anything. Yeah, I mean, don't get it twisted. I can see that. Don't get it twisted. I've seen like Rhea. Bianca Belair, Dakota Kai, Io Sky, and War Games before, and they're amazing. And this is going to be an amazing match. Absolutely. But Absolutely. it's also unnecessary. <laughs> yes. Let's move on before we get into... Um, before we kill each other? Uh, through the phone, yes. <laughs> hey, it can happen. I'll beat my screen up to <laughs> make it to you. <laughs> All right, last match. We got the men war games. We got the winners versus yep. the losers. I mean, bloodline versus the brawling brutes. Um, 
Drew McIntyre and Kevin did you Owens. See, um, <laughs> did you see Austin Creed? Sorry, uh, did you see Xavier Woods tweet the other day? Oh, no. At, at, at the main WWE account. No. They, they, they did something and he was like, have you tried not turning yourself into like the world's biggest uh, bloodline stan account? <laughs> like, Thank you. Right? Um, I mean, bloodline is going to win. Because Bloodline always wins. Yeah, pretty um, much. I'd be surprised again, if they didn't win. Yeah, again, this would be a chance if but, if if, if WWE I, knew what I they mean, were doing. I, I don't know who they could come out here. Just, unless they got more Bloodline family members coming out or something. Uh, I mean, <laughs> it, would you be surprised? I mean, no. Um, again, like, a lot of people are like, yeah, but this could be where... You know, they beat they beat them because Sammy gets pinned by Owens and then Sammy can get kicked out of the bloodline and we can kick off that. No, no, because that means bloodline is going to lose and bloodline isn't going to lose. It's really that simple. Um, bloodline isn't going to lose until, I guess, someone beats up Triple H with a tire and takes control of the company. Um, that's, that's, my, that's my look on it. I don't know why they have to be that undefeatable, but we know they are. They have been for, what, two and a half years now. Uh, um, yeah, so. I don't really see any like changes or difference that's going to happen. Again, which is, uh, which uh, is the, sad. the only thing... Yeah, I, again, they, uh, Brandy Rhodes said Cody is almost ready to return. So, I guess he's next up to be fed to the monster because, again... Yay! And you two shall be destroyed, Cody Rhodes. <laughs> yeah, basically, and then you know, Co and then Roman will beat uh, Rock at Mania, and there won't be anyone left to challenge him because he's already beaten everyone like nineteen times. And in, in since we started this, I am just very, very tired of the bloodline. But I'm that just is no like secret. Over acknowledged of the bloodline. <laughs> yeah, like I, I listen. I, I, I acknowledge that you people. I acknowledge that you people overstayed your welcome a year ago. Um, it, it, it really is just that, that simple. This would be, again, this would be an awesome chance to do something about it, because, again, they can pin literally anyone. They could pin Sami Zayn. Jey Uso mean, could be, could, keep, Jey Uso I'm could keeping, turn again. There's a lot of things to do, but it's not going to happen. I'm keeping an optimistic point on this match, but I'm not really, like, it's kind of like, eh, I'm like, I'm pretty sure the bloodline wins, but I will kind of just be like, okay, maybe they might lose if they pin Sammy or even freaking Let Jay. me put it like this. <laughs> Let me put it like this. Unlike a lot of other Roman matches, I will actually watch this one. Usually when it's Roman's matches, I just... I, I just have it well, on. Yeah. I can't even. I can't watch. I can't watch, can't watch, I can't them watch Rome. I can't watch Roman when he's like Roman versus somebody else. But like, if it's like no, the, I, I just, if it's like I the Uso or like Sami Zayn or something, it was like if it's like a group thing, yeah, I can watch it because I don't, have to pay, I don't have to pay attention to Roman. I can pay attention to everybody else, but yeah. him. <laughs> like I said, I don't even want to talk about Roman's matches anymore because there's nothing to them. It's the They're same boring. match every it's... week for two and a half years. Yeah, it's like missionary it's... every single night. No, yeah, basically, <laughs> only without you know a happy ending. Right? It's like, um, it's like it's so boring. Missionary, like... and then halfway through we have erectile dysfunction or something. It's, it's like oh my god, I'm so tired of it. <laughs> oh, you're finished. What happened? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Please, Triple H, I am. Begging you on my knees, hey, please hey, hey, do hey, something hey, interesting hey, for hey, a Hey Triple H, hey Triple H, put Chelsea Green in the middle. Yeah, <laughs> seriously, it would be it would be at least something to happen. <laughs> for God's sake, resurrect China or something like oh, China's man. skeleton in this match. I don't that, fucking that, care. That would be a match. <laughs> do something that isn't incredibly predictable and completely identical to every other match the Bloodline has had for Ever. two and a half fucking years. Forever! Like I said, and so, I, again, the question has been asked before, but Tim, you liked Hulk Hogan back in the 80s. Well, one, I was a child. Two, he didn't know no better. It was, it was a different time. And three, 
Hulk Hogan was a face. People want to see faces win. They don't want completely indestructible villains winning every time. It gives, I think someone calls it a darkness-induced apathy. Like, it's so... Who cares if the villains are never going to get their comeuppance? That's the whole fucking point of having villains. Right. Otherwise, you just might as well pretend it's a sport. Go back to pretending there is no villains or heroes. It's just a sporting competition. If yeah, you really sports. want to play face and heels, the heel has to get his comeuppance. And it's... And they never it's does. too late and for that. And it's too does. late for that. They even done, even they've done fucked that up so bad. <laughs> yeah. Even if Cody Rhodes comes back now and beats him, yay, people will cheer for Cody, but who cares? It's not like Roman is going to get a comeuppance or something. It's just a table. So it's, oh god, yeah, no. Back, yeah, no, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. fine. We'll, for, we'll have forever, like, you know, Roman and the bloodline. It's fine. It's yeah. yeah maybe, it's fine. Maybe, maybe, they'll, maybe they'll produce children and then they'll have, like, I don't know, you know, maybe their children will come in. I don't know, you know, whatever. It's fine. I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll find out, I'm sure, one way, or, one way or the other. All right, guys. Well, that is it. We, you know, me and Tim had our, our outs. <laughs> It's been rare. It's been a while since we had that kind of that yeah. kind of a <laughs> kind of feud. Of a thing. <laughs> yeah. You were like, yeah, I agree with that. I agree with that. No, listen, yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, Toya, Toya and I are building for a match at at the Rumble. It's fine. Well, I, exactly. Yeah. I'll be number twenty nine. He'll be number thirty. And we'll just see who kick kick him out. But anyways. <laughs> Anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, it is Thanksgiving, so I hope you take care to people in America. Everybody else, have a good th have a good Thursday. Uh, Tim is not streaming today. Nope, I am not streaming today. My computer is broken. Yep. I will stream when I get it back. Uh, I have no idea when that is. Yeah, and um, I will have a poem tomorrow. So, oh, yeah, poems tomorrow. I think. I'm not sure. I've lost track. But anyways, I will be a poem tomorrow. And that's it. And we'll see you guys next Thursday. Okay. okay. Bye. Bye.